What's happening? I'm as Dan here from West Ham Fan TV, and uh, I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm uh, going to be reviewing a pre-match West Ham event. Now I might do a few more of these and just show you guys the different things that are on offer and different activities you guys can do before and sometimes after the matches um, on the match day. So I recently attended the West Ham Way pre-match event. That's right, that's the one. Uh, Ex-West Ham employee runs it. Uh, the Sex and Drugs and Carlton Coal guys. They've linked up and they offer a pre-match event every home game. And um, so I went down there to check it out, see what it was all about. Those guys were nice enough to hook me up a ticket. So I went down to the event before the West Brom game. That was the uh, John Monker event. Um, they had him down, West Ham legend, you know, cult hero. Um, so I was glad that that was one of the ones I was covering. So I was looking forward to that. So this event is at East Ham Working Man's Club. Um, it, it felt good going back down to that side, you know. It was a nice sight, you know, rather than seeing Weatherspoons and some of the nice sort of fancy Westfield bars, you know, seeing a proper, proper East Ham Working Man's Club, proper West Ham fans going in there. It just, I had a good atmosphere, I had a good vibe about it from the moment I got there. So I went through the doors, you know, and the first thing I noticed, you see how busy it is. For a saying it's a sort of a fairly new event, I was quite surprised how busy it was. A lot of people were sort of, uh, you know, lining up, getting their wristbands on and that. You go, because you go to the counter, you give your name, they give you a wristband. Um, you know, that gives you your entry and it also gets you a few other things, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um... You know, and then as you go upstairs, what was nice, because you go upstairs, that's where the event is, you see all the West Ham memorabilia on the wall, the signed shirts and pictures and frames, and so it really, you know, sets the tone. And then you go upstairs and you've got the bar. Now, with your wristband, right, you pay your 25 quid. Now, some people might think, 25 quid, it's a bit pricey, isn't it, for a ticket to an event, but... The thing that makes it worth it, now this, this is the selling point, one of the selling points for me, besides seeing obviously the West Ham legends, you get free beer, all you can drink. Now I believe it's um, just lager, bitters and ciders, so um, I don't think it applies for stuff like JD and things like that, but you know, for me, match day, it's all about having a pint. When you think about what you might spend in a, in a pub on a match day, on a round, you know, um, you just go up there, you get your ticket. Uh, I think I think that it opens at like 11 o'clock. So if it's like 3 o'clock kickoff, you've got a good few hours to get a good few drinks down there. You know, when you look at the prices in bloody Stratford, some of the places, you know, £4.50 a pint. You know, if you go into, uh, what's that pub? The, the Cow, you know, I would say like a fiver there or something like that. You know, it's mental. So paying just 25 quid and getting your all you can drink beer. Um, you know, it's happy days. You know, the only thing with that is uh, it does get quite busy on the at the bar, so you will be queuing up. Um, but they've got two bars, so when it gets super busy, they open up the bar on the other end, and that sort of deals with the traffic. It was packed, really, really popular uh, event. You know, a lot of people turning out, obviously come and see you know, Johnny Monks. We've also got a few items you can buy, memorabilia and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, they've got a few few, few bits and pieces going on. They've got a raffle, they've had the raffle tickets going around so you can win some, like, you know, West Ham prizes and that. So who doesn't like a raffle? Um, but, yeah, so getting to the main event, you had Mark Ward, you know, ex-West Ham player. He, um... He sort of comes on on the stage, sort of introduces, you know, sort of bigs up, does a few stories about John Monker and does a few jokes. It's funnily enough, you know, he's <laughs> he could have a good career in stand-up comedy because Mark Ward is is a funny guy. He's very, very funny. He uh, They've really picked uh, a good person to, to host this event because, uh, yeah, he has everyone cracking up. He sort of, it's almost like he does a set, you know. Um... You know, obviously, he introduces, finally brings out John Monker, you know, makes a few jokes about being, being a born-again Christian. So, uh, really interesting, because, you know, from that point, you don't know what you're going to get. You know, is he going to come out and be completely different? But, uh, you know, he's 
John Wonka is still just as funny as ever, still a character, still a personality, and he comes out and uh, telling some great stories. Right, here's a question. What's your name? Gary. It's Gary, you're not Gary. Are you ready for this? Sadly. <laughs> Over the years, mate, we've followed you, and I've seen many, many shades in your hair. I was just wondering, is there a certain product you use where you've got any funny stories about your body? <laughs> Great question. Thank you very much. As you claim you've never dyed your hair. Oh, listen. You know, all right? I don't dye my hair. I don't go out in rain, just in case. Like, uh, Not like so many potty. Look here now. You're just jealous, mate. I look young. You're just jealous. Look at him. He's 43. Yeah. He looks like my old man. I don't know if I've got any details, right? But you come on as a sub, second half against Tottenham. The last of that five minutes got sent off. As you walked off the pitch, you celebrated. What was going through your head? No, it, it was. Uh, it was actually. It was I didn't come on. I, I played the game, uh, and we actually played really well there. I mean, I was coming to the end of my career. I think we won two one. Mark Mark Keller, I think, scored. Right, he scored. Ian yeah, right. and uh, I, it was just a fantastic game. I mean, as I say, I hated Tottenham. It was the last time I was going to play there. I, uh, I had a blinder, and I purposely, do you know that sort of was giving it, uh, we'd had clashed a couple of times, and there was this little fella, Hugo Paul, oh, what was his name? Was his name? Well, yeah, he was, he, he was, someone had booted him up in the air, and it was all, and I've got, I think there was a fella for them, Dominguez, and I went straight through him, but I knew it, the game was over. And that was it, they all started. And I thought, I'm going to go out in style here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh, I caught one or two of them, and it was a bit of a melee, and they sent me off, but all I was doing was clapping the West Ham fans. Yeah. Oh, so that was really enjoyable, just going and seeing that. Um, you know, listening to all the stories, how he tells them, because, you know, you hear all the stories from all the other players and now hearing it coming out of his mouth was brilliant. You know, the running out onto the pitch naked because he didn't have a kit, you know, you got to hear his side of things. And you also get uh, free coach travel to the London Stadium. Now, I remember hearing about uh, the bowling pub was talking about doing a membership where you get, like, coach travel. And I remember, I remember saying at the time, like, I can't see why anyone would take that up because surely it would take so long to get from bloody, you know, Upton Park to Stratford just for, just for the traffic. I was like, you know, you might as well get a train. So I thought, oh, I'll give it a go, like, it's free, take the coach. Um, so I got in the coach. Now, you know, you have a few drinks, so it's nice to just hop on something, not have to worry about changing platforms and all of this nonsense, so I'm sitting there and, uh, you know, having a chat, and, like, next thing I know, I'm there. I could not believe how quick we got from, you know, Upton Park to uh, Stratford, and uh, it really, it, re it really um, was a nice way of, you know, getting to the ground, because, uh, you know, as you guys know, it is such a fuss. Like I don't know. For me, it's just such such a long experience. Every single time, get into that stadium, it's such a pain in the ass. You know, for me, every time I'm on the train and get the district line, it stops at Upton Park, and I think, oh, if only I could just get off here, walk down the road, I'm there. But no, you know, got to go to West Ham, change, walk down the stairs, walk round, walk up the stairs, walk round the other side of the platform, walk down the stairs again. Up on the train, few stops, walk all the uh, long ass walk to the bloody stadium, um, and then get there. It's such a palaver. But this way, you know, it was nice getting off um, at Upton Park, walking to the working man's club, just having a few beers, and then, you know, I mean, coach straight there, short walk from where the coach drops you off. You know, that was a, a pleasant surprise. So, yeah, I think if you. Yeah, if you like, if it, that appeals to, you know, free drinks. Uh, I say free, obviously you're paying your 25 quid ticket, but you know, all you can drink drinks. Um, you know, like music, you know, ex West Ham players. Um, I think you can get pie mash there if you request it. Um, and getting a coach from the ground and being sort of back in the in the Upton Park area, then you know, I mean, it's this is the sort of event for you.
And I think you've got to bear in mind, I think what people did with those free drinks, I have to mention, is a lot of people were thinking, right, they were free, I can't be asked to keep queuing up, do you know what I'm going to do? Like, I'm going to order four beers, right? So, they order, so everyone's going up there, four pints, four pints, and it just causes chaos. So, like, they were reminded, people were reminded, look, just get a beer at a time, it makes things flow quickly, then go back up. Um, and a few people do sort of abuse the system. Um, but I think when they have that second bar open on the other on the other end, it makes things it make does makes things flow quicker. But just keep in mind, like you go there, yes, it's free beer, but don't take the piss. You know, get a beer at a time. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to run out. Um, and just enjoy it. You know. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you've been, let me know what your experience is. What your view is. Um, and let me know if you're planning on going after seeing this video and come back and let me know if you've gone as a result and what your thoughts are, you know. Uh, you can message me personally on Twitter, at The Lawless. I'd love to hear from you. Or just message us on, at West Ham Fan TV because um, we'd love to hear different people's opinions. But that was just my opinion of going, you know. Like I said, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, the pre-match thing is, is a, a very important thing. So I'm looking to do uh, review some more pre-match, match day events. Um, so if there's any that you guys go to or know about that you'd like to see me review, let me know. Um, I'm hoping to do the um, Hammers Chat boat experience next. So, um, you know, just chatting to those guys, seeing about doing that. So hopefully that's the next one. Um, but yeah, if there's any others you want to see me do, just tweet me at The Lawless, T-H-E-L-A-W-L-E-S-S. -S, or just tweet us at West Ham Fan TV. Or just comment below either way. Um, and just let me know what you would like to see us cover in these reviews. So don't forget, follow us on all the social medias. We've got the FIFA prediction coming out with me and Jace. We've got the big match preview with Scott. You've got post-match pint. All the fan cams. Come see us by the stadium store. And in the new show, Ryan's Ratings, where he gives you the player ratings. So look out for all that content. Subscribe if you haven't. One thing left to say. Come on, you Irons.